We have come to Koh Tao for the first time in three and a half years to start re-exploring the island, ready for our upcoming adventure scape this May. We're going to be taking them across the three islands, Koh Samui, Koh Panyang, and Koh Tao. We're going to do a bunch of awesome adventurous activities with them, cliff jumping, rock climbing, hiking, abseiling, ab Muay Thai, Muay Thai, temples, temples, night markets, night markets, all that kind of crazy stuff. So <laughs> if you are a young, adventurous, energetic person and you'd like to join us in paradise for 12 nights, 11 nights, check out the link in the description. Welcome to Koh Tao and welcome to one of our three accommodations for our Thailand escape. millipede that we saw yesterday. There he is. So these are a bit different from the Kenyan millipedes, aren't they? They're more colorful, huh? I think it's a millipede anyway. Do you think it's a millipede? Mm -hmm. Where are we going now, Malia? To watch people rock climb. To go rock climbing, yeah. Can you press the start button? No. Again. So one of our partners here on our Three Islands Thailand Escape is our friends at Good Time Adventures. We do the rock climbing, cliff jumping, abseiling and a cool boat day with these guys. So let's go. <laughs> so we opted for the safer option which is our bike is not strong enough to carry all three of us and the tech on my back. So, out of my hiking, it's been a long time since I hiked here. I used to hike here all the time when we used to live on Kota. So, watch me get out of breath. I think I need to sit down. I've only made it halfway up the hill. I don't know why, I remember this being a little bit shorter, but I guess I've gone for a hike without asking to go for a hike. The guys are going to be setting up at the top, so I think by the time they start, should hopefully be there. <laughs> While we're here talking about hikes and activities on Koh Tao that you can do with us on our escapes, there's this hike that is called Heartbreak Hill, and it literally <laughs> is exactly what it sounds like. It is the most intense hike I've ever done. Super, super inclined, really, really hard. But when you get to the top, the view is unreal. Let me show you the first little viewpoint that I found. Check this out. Whew, I'm not even at the top yet. But how beautiful does this look? So that over there is Sairi, which is kind of like the main area. Over there we've got Mehad, and somewhere on the other side is where we're staying, which is Shalok. Whew, let's go. The thing that I dislike the most about rock climbing is coming back down. I don't mind the way up, I don't like the way down. I'm going rock climbing. <laughs> So 
Nobody's favorite part. 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 Nobody's favorite part.
she likes jungle hiking apparently. Mm -hmm. So now we're going back down, which is just as challenging. With Probably the more challenging on the way down. There's a lot higher chance of slipping, especially so as, when you've as got... As an adult, it's a very easy hike. Yeah, it is. It's quite comfortable. Anyone um, can do it. It's not particularly like hard. But we have a lot of gear and we have this one to protect. From bottom to top, if you are on your own, 10 minutes. Nice. Like It's a very comfortable hike. And if you want an Instagram picture, here's the second point where you can take a photo. And if you are coming to Kotao, it has been extremely 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 busy and it's much much harder to find accommodation on the island so I don't know maybe by the time you see this vlog it's gonna be too late but try and book your hostels or hotels or Airbnbs as far in advance as possible we're staying right now in a little place it's not like the cheapest it's okay book as far in advance as you can if you can because <laughs> you might get here and you might not find anything so yeah Alright, so we're back at the house and just wanted to show you where we're staying. We're staying in a place called Woodlawn Villas, which is in Sherlock. So we paid £56 for this accommodation. Yeah, let's show you around. We made sure that our room has cooking, like a, a kitchen and stuff, because we wanted to make our own meals. Got a nice little balcony over there. The jungle's over there. Malia? Hi. So we have a kitchen some chill out space, an extra bed for Malia. They were kind enough to supply us with a working desk. So I did cap. So I cap. <laughs> and then we just have the bedroom. So yeah, like not bad, I would say. What do you think? I know you're not particularly impressed. No, no, no. <laughs> I like a lot of space to like chop and prepare food. It's quite small. Like I would almost rather have lost a bit more living space and gained more kitchen. But generally speaking, like they're nice little places. You could live here easily. Yeah. yeah, so where's the next stop? I'm gonna be going to another one of our favorite beaches. It's a little bit more off the beaten track. Not many people know about it. It's called Tonote Bay. And Mali is gonna pay a little visit to some friends. Welcome, Welcome to Tonote Bay. that golden necklace. What's her name? Can you see? Her name is Nudie. Nudie. This is where people buy all sorts of dog treats and things. <laughs> How old is she? Is four months old. Four months old. Oh. Do you want to touch her? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Why is it because the mummy not here. Maria, what is the cat doing? <laughs> Somersaults. It's because she thinks there's a creature. So right now, there's not many animals. We've got this cat here who needs spading. Um, and then we've got this little guy that was picked up. He's a stray cat that can't fend for themselves. So they were basically, they're here being treated. And we'll probably be staying here slightly longer term. And this place does rely on donations. So all the animals that you guys see out in the streets, usually if they need taken care of, this is where they'll end up. So if you love animals, swing by the vet shop and donate or we're going to put a link below where you can help with donations. Are you going to so donate? Why don't you put this in the box for donation? Over here. Just say thank you for letting you look at the animals. Like that. Is there a lot of money in Good job. Yeah. And you know what that money will do? Nice. It will help other animals to get treated. Yeah. So that means they can keep buying all the medicines and looking after the dogs and things. And the cats, of course. Well done. So when we used to live here, this was never here. It's some sort of a, like there's four various things. What is it, like a wine place, a restaurant, the cafe and stuff. And this looks insane. I'm so 
put it on the outside. Oh, it's a, oh wow. I thought it was going to have cream inside, like a normal eclair. That's a special one. So next up is Kwanang Yuan. We organized for our boat captain to take us there at 2.30. And we just arrived here. I'm asking for the guy. He's like, oh, he just went fishing. He's gone fishing. <laughs> so he stranded us. So now we have a new boat captain, paid a little bit more, but... How much uh, was the journey? So it's 300 baht per person, so 600 baht, kids go free. So that's 15 pounds UK, I guess. Let's Last go. Last stop for the day. Let's do it. So this is Konanyuan. It took us about 15 minutes by uh, long tail to get here. And typically we would spend a lot more time here, but we're just quickly coming, create some content. We came later than usual. There are opening times and closing times. I don't actually know them. So you can just check online and see. I think it said there nine till four. But any long tail boat will tell you. You can you know? also stay here. There's accommodation. Yeah, so they have accommodation. They have a restaurant. So if I came back, we want to come and like chill for half a day, grab some food, chill on the beach stunning beach here mm -hmm. so let's go and check it out uh, also if you do just want to come here quickly to take a snap this is a good time of day to come the small walk to the top of the viewpoint is about 10 minutes 15 minutes and typically this is the time of day when everybody is leaving the island so if you just want to come here take some pictures and have not many people now is the time to do it they stop admission from three o'clock so they won't let you on the island after three but yeah everyone else is now leaving we're arriving Malia's over here struggling her way out of a dress. So me and Malia are gonna hang here on the beach because Malia doesn't fancy another climb to a viewpoint today. She did really well this morning, but I think we can only expect one hike a day out of her. And Ina, lovely Ina, is gonna head up the viewpoint and take you guys with her to show you what you could see if you came here. Ready? Mm -hmm. Go! All right, so the hike to the top is actually really, really short. It's about max 10 minutes quite easy and typically there's also a queue so this is one of the reasons we came in the afternoon let's see how many people there will be in front of me all right last stretch Actually, there wasn't too much of a queue, so that wasn't too bad. I don't know what it's like midday, but right now there was just a few people waiting. I'm gonna go back down, join the guys, and hopefully wrap up this vlog. So most of the things that you guys see us do in this video are things that we're going to do on our adventure escape in Thailand. And we also run other locations like Sri Lanka, Costa Rica, Bali and Nusa Penida, Philippines, Kenya. So we have quite a few really, really cool locations. And yeah, so if you'd like to join us, join our adventures, please click in the link in bio. So yeah, we came to a little restaurant <laughs> called Tik Tai, which I think is usually quite good. It's on the beachfront. And uh, yeah, it's on the, on the beachfront in Sari. And the guy was very apologetic when we came in. He said, I'm so sorry. My wife does the cooking. <laughs> She's getting her hair cut. <laughs> so I can offer you Pad Thai, which is noodles, fried rice, or a burger, or a sandwich. Oh. So Pad Thai it is. Pad Thai, Pad Thai, Pad Thai. Three Pad Thais. <laughs> Why not? Tea. So hungry right now. Well, who's your friend? Just kitty cat. Kitty cat. You named it too, right? Yeah. What did you name it? Bluey. Bluey, because it's got blue eyes. Oh, let's see those eyes. <laughs> They're in there somewhere. <laughs> we have a record. 
for the cheapest Thai food we've ever had. So ever. Not ever, ever. Just so far. Just so far on this on this trip. 260 baht, which is let me just do USD because I feel like more of our audience is oh, sorry, uh, 741. 741. So that wraps up our time here in Koh Tao. We've had a great time. A lot on the island has changed, which is actually really cool. There's loads of new cool cafes, bars and things, so we can't wait to come back and check them all out. If you've enjoyed the adventures that we've been on here and you want to do more cool things like that, check out Where Next Escapes. It is our adventure travel company where we take groups of awesome young adventurous people to cool places around the world. Check it out. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Do all the usual things. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you on the next one. Bye.